Hey everyone, either welcome back or welcome to my channel. And in today's video, I want to talk about how I handle emotions on a really, really bad day. So before I get into any more details, time for the intro. Back in 2018, I was diagnosed with IIH. IIH is short for idiopathic intracranial hypertension. In short, in IIH, there is an increased intracranial pressure without a known cause. IIH is known by two older names, pseudotumor cerebri and benign intracranial hypertension. Living with IIH is very hard to explain to others, as it can be hard to tell when I'm not feeling well. My hope is that through these videos, we can learn together and help make relationships better through a better understanding. I also hope to provide people living with IIH a community so they never feel like they are alone with this condition. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell down below so that you get updated about further videos. I upload new content every Monday and Thursday afternoon. So I've talked about emotions quite a bit on this channel and it's just because being that I'm an emotional person myself, I feel like I have to talk about this a lot because there might be others that go through these up and down emotions as well. But specifically today, I want to talk about why, even though I try not to get emotional with this condition, why I allow myself to have emotional periods. Now, I'm going to also talk about how I try and get myself out of these emotional periods. But I do want to say that I do allow myself like a half an hour of emotions if that's what I need and feel like I have to allow myself it's when I start getting emotional for several hours at a time that I start getting to be a little bit concerned this doesn't happen very often where I get really really emotional for entire days or hours anymore and I think I attribute that to a lot of my meditation but there are periods sometimes, especially when I'm going through a lot of symptoms, where I'll just all of a sudden start to tear up without really any reason other than the fact of I just miss the life I had before, I guess is the best way to put that. And I miss everything I used to be able to do. There's also a little bit of now that I'm not feeling well, does this mean that this is enough to hold me back from moving on? There's a lot of things that go through my head when I get emotional. And when I get emotional now, there's no thinking like this. I do try and get myself to think and like process why I might be emotional, but there are times when this fails really, really miserably, actually. The periods that I allow myself to be emotional are the times that I am having a bad day with symptoms, pain with headaches, sometimes everything is happening. And these will often appear at these times because during the height of my symptoms, I'm not able to use anything to really distract me. There's not really anything I can do to distract me because a lot of the things that I do now involve using screens. And during the worst times, and when I'm feeling my worst, I'm not able to be on screens. That's when it kind of is able to get into my awareness I guess is the best way for me to put that. Now I actually allow this because the amount of times that I actually have symptoms like this is quite rare and to be honest maybe a few times a month that this happens and I think it's really really important to let out my emotion if I feel like I need to. I think it's healing like it, it does help but it's just hard to get myself out of it when it starts to happen. So immediately what starts to happen is if I notice that I'm really quite emotional for several minutes in a row, I'll start thinking to myself, like, why are you having these emotions right now? What, what is happening that 
you know, you're feeling this way, has something happened or come up during the day that, you know, has made this situation worse? And usually based upon those answers, I'm able to calm myself back down and get the emotions under control. I haven't had a period since it's gotten really, really bad since I went through those really, really rough few months after I was diagnosed with IIH. I just want people to understand that, you know, if I'm appearing emotional, please just let me experience that and let me go through those periods because if I'm allowing myself to have those emotional periods, then it's probably because I need it. This condition is filled with so many ups and downs and twists and turns and there's a lot of uncertainty and a lot of things out of our control for those of us who have this that the things that we can control I think we should and that's why I think you know controlling your emotions is important but allowing yourself to have those emotional days is just as important. I guess just check out the other videos on my channel as to the emote parts where I've talked about emotions, particularly the video on roller coaster of emotions and the ups and downs that come with IIH. I think that's a really, really important video. I haven't watched it in a while, so I'm not really sure exactly what I talk about. I don't really remember, but definitely check that one out because it goes through the ups and downs. And I, I do remember that I compare the roller coaster of emotions to the roller coaster of emotions that I experienced my during my degree. So my coping mechanisms for dealing with these emotions are very similar to how I dealt with emotions during school, during the ups and downs that would happen during my biochemistry degree. And trust me, there were plenty of ups and downs because there were so many things that were happening all at once. And it only took one bad thing to ruin an entire, well, week. It could ruin an entire day, actually. If you got a bunch of bad exams back all at once, it really, really deflated your motivation to keep going. So a lot of those coping mechanisms, and I've talked about those in other videos, so I'm not gonna talk about them now, have come from how I got through that roller coaster of emotions that I experienced during my degree, which I think is really, really important for people to understand like these coping mechanisms that I have are from what I experienced during my degree and it wasn't it was long before I was dealing with anything like IIH which I'm pretty sure what was that's what was going on in my last semester I admit that I'm emotional sometimes and I think being human and experiencing something like this is going to make pretty much everybody emotional, at least at some point during their experience. If not, it'll be like ups and downs, kind of like we have good days and bad days with the condition. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as for now, that's it for today. Bye everyone.